We're obsessed with inventing Anna, which is largely based on a true story. Naturally, our curiosity extends to the real people behind the show, from why Rachel Williams is complaining that the series is a dangerous distortion of the truth, to whether Neff Davis finally pursued her dream of being a director, and if Casey Duke uses those positivity mantras in real life. Well, guys, because I like people to stand in their power. Finally, hear what Anna Sorokin did with the money Netflix paid her for inventing Anna. Who doesn't have money troubles anymore? Anna's ex-friend Rachel Williams really racked up $62,000 in credit card debt in Morocco. She was soothed by Delvey's promise to pay her back, which of course never happened. Cue Williams' decision to publish an article in the Vanity Fair and sell her book about her roller coaster ride with Anna Delvey. The point of telling you all this being, she's probably not in financial trouble anymore. Quite the opposite. American Express forgave Williams her full debt, and she made a small fortune from selling her story. Having said that, Rachel was laid off from her job at Vanity Fair. According to her website and Instagram, she now works as a writer, photographer, and creative consultant. We don't know much more about her personal life, but Williams doesn't hide the fact that she is not happy with inventing Anna. There is a way that true crime stories can be told, seen, um, discussed, even dramatized responsibly. This just isn't it. Her issues are twofold. Firstly, she's unsettled by the show's depiction of her as a blind worshipper of Anna. I think there is a false narrative with regard to me not having been a strong person before this entire thing, she told Vanity Fair. Secondly, she's got an issue with how the series portrays Anna Delvey. She is someone who doesn't deserve our, our celebration. She's someone who's committed crimes, and I do think it's important to have a moral compass. Rachel is also outraged that Netflix paid Sorokin to create Inventing Anna. She accuses the streaming giant of effectively running a con woman's PR and putting money back in Sorokin's pocket. In response to this, the real Anna eventually slapped back to hilarious effect, but stay tuned for all the details on that soon. Williams believes Netflix has a vendetta against her because she chose HBO to adapt her book to screen. However, the option for that project, for which Rachel was paid, has since expired. In other news, Rachel has an issue with actress Katie Lowe's who plays her. Lowe's concern for accuracy when it comes to portraying me as I am seems limited to the spelling of my full name. Clearly, there's no love lost between Rachel and Anna. Can the same be said for Anna and Neff, though? What is Anna's ride or die doing now? Now, Neff Davis really is Sororkin's closest friend and chose to forgive her. She just wished Sororkin had told her the truth from the start. Anna is my friend and always will be. We have to get to know each other again and develop healthy boundaries. I get her. There's a reason for actress Alexis Floyd's nuanced depiction of Neff. Apart from her being a great actress, of course, Davis served as a consultant on all nine episodes. She was already a filmmaker when she met Sororkin, but Neff can't praise working with the showrunner Shonda Rhimes enough. Davis revealed that everyone nurtured her love for film and didn't treat her like just a character. It was a dream come true. And as Neff told Vanity Fair, Anna actually changed her life for the better. I'm like, thank you for committing your crimes, because it got me on a Netflix set. According to Davis, Delvey had previously said that she would be the reason Neff's first movie got made. Now, when Davis looks back at it, she realizes that Anna kept her word in an evil, dark, twisted Tim Burton movie way. On that note, Davis is making full use of this opportunity. She currently lives in Los Angeles, where she is pursuing her dream of being a director. Neff recently finished writing her first TV script and wants to start filming sooner rather than later. After posting about it on Instagram, Shonda took to the comment section, telling her that her script better be done. Davis shared that Rhymes has been mentoring her, and she can't hide her excitement. Neff also revealed that a lot of people have been reaching out, asking to see her scripts. We'll be keeping an eye on Neff Davis then. As for her friendship with Anna, they still stay in touch, and Davis said Anna really loves actress Julia Garner's work. More on that soon. But first, let's hear Neff's thoughts about Rachel. Although she agrees that Rachel was a victim, she hasn't been her biggest fan since she learned that Williams aided in Anna's arrest. That said, she doesn't have any hate towards Williams. It's just that I'm friends with Anna. If you're friends with someone, it's hard to be friends with their enemy. It's like a girl code. There's someone else who felt conned, and we don't mean by Delvey only. What does Casey Duke think of inventing Anna? The Hollywood trainer recognizes that Rachel was a victim. However, she wishes Williams would have been honest with her about getting the book deal and all that stuff. Because I took off work and lost money to be supportive to her at court. That said, she's decided to let bygones be bygones. And today, Duke continues to work as an A-list personal trainer and life coach in New York City. Her celeb client list over the years included Madonna, Dakota Johnson, Denzel Washington, and Gwen Stefani, to name only a few. And hear this, she's 66 years old with no intention of slowing down. I call this exercise the goddess. 
Casey regularly shares updates from her life, like teaching her coaching method called the art of the graceful gangster. She spends her free time with her friends, her puppy Zeus, and her grandsons. Moreover, she served as a consultant on Inventing Anna. Duke also trained with Laverne Cox, who plays her ahead of the show. When asked whether she thinks the show got the gist of the story right, it's pretty accurate. I mean, there are a couple of glossy things, but um, it's pretty accurate. Duke has been promoting the series through interviews and on her Instagram. She even reposted several clips, originally shared by Laverne. For one of these behind-the-scenes videos, Cox included a quote from Duke, Movement is a privilege. If you can move, you should. That leads us to the question, does Duke really use positive mantras as depicted in the show? Why, yes, she absolutely does. And Cox based her performance on her many meetings with Duke. In real life, Casey believes that though she committed a crime and hurt people, Anna isn't a terrible person. But Anna also had a great idea, and I wish she was a little bit more directed to, to be honest about it, or maybe she just lost control. As for whether she's still friends with Anna, the answer is no. The last time they spoke was after Anna was released from prison and tried to reunite with her. Duke had signed a deal with Netflix at that time, which meant it wouldn't have been professional. But more importantly, she realizes she had to set boundaries and back off. She left Anna with some words of advice. I even said to her, I said, you have some newfound fame here. I said, use it more wisely. Wish you the best. Make better choices. Proving that Cox really did her likeness justice, Duke still sees greatness in both Anna and Rachel. I don't hate either one of them. I don't necessarily need to hang with them. I send them love and light. Now, without further ado, where is Anna Sororkin today? And did she really call Williams a Karen? First things first, after she was released from prison last year, Anna insisted that she never had any fraudulent intent. And straight after her release, she proved that old habits die hard. It's a let a climber. <laughs> no, I was just kind of doing whatever I wanted at the time. Sororkin's freedom wasn't long lived, though. Just one month later, she was taken into custody in New York for overstaying her visa. Sororkin told Insider from behind bars that her visa overstay was unintentional and largely out of her control. She insisted that she did not break a single one of New York State's or ICE's patrol rules. Furthermore, she added that she paid off the restitution from her criminal case in full. In case you were wondering where she got the money, Netflix paid Sororkin a whopping sum for the rights to her life story. She used that money to settle her substantial debts, until the New York Attorney General's office sued Anna. They cited a law which prohibits those convicted from profiting from publicity of their crime, and have even frozen some of the funds. Earlier last month, Anna tested positive for COVID-19 and has been isolating in the correctional facility's quarantine unit. I'm sure I'll live, but I haven't been this sick in years, she said. Sororkin is still waiting to hear whether she will be deported to Germany or not. When asked what she thinks about inventing Anna, Sorkin said she had no plans of watching it. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Neff Davis said that she had to convince Anna that Julia Garner is great in The Assistant and Ozark. Anna was like, but do we look alike? I'm like, not outside of makeup, but when she puts on the makeup, she's definitely giving Anna. Sorkin ended up meeting Julia and absolutely loves her, and even told Neff that she wonders if they'll ever do dinner. Neff's response was spoken like a best friend. I'm like, maybe in Paris, because you're getting deported. You gotta get out of here. And now for the juiciest part of it all. Following Rachel Williams' recent interview where she bashed inventing Anna, the real Sororkin finally had enough of it. In a long Instagram post, she accused Williams of courting media attention. Anna expressed her frustration with Rachel's stubborn refusal to move from her contrived trauma and going on every show that would have her. She ended her rant by calling Williams a Karen. Ouch. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our other video about inventing Anna. And remember to stay awesome.